Hello everyone, in today's video we are going over the top 10 tips and tricks for stream raiders. Whether you are a new player or a veteran, I hope there is something useful for you in this guide. Starting off with tip number one, you can right click your units to have much better control on your own placements. Right clicking units is one of the best ways you can not misplace your units consistently, which a lot of you tend to do. You would be surprised at how long it can take to um, find that information out. <laughs> Um, anyways, moving on to tip number two. When you hover over unit before placing, green swords will show over the enemy units and that'll tell you what unit counters. Uh, basically, if you hover over an archer, all the melee units are gonna have green swords over them. If you hover over a tank, all the ranged units are gonna, all the ranged enemy units are gonna have green swords over them. Basically, hovering your mouse over that unit will allow you to see which unit is best for certain scenarios. Moving on to tip number three, this game is available to play on your mobile device you can play it on your phone while you're at work probably don't do that um or while you're on the go play it pretty much anywhere it's one of the things that not everybody knows about um and it's super useful for grinding um tip number four buffs of the same type do not stack um, two flag bearers next to each other don't stack. You know, if a fl one flag does 40% increased damage and another flag does 40% increased damage, you're not getting 80%. It's just a 40%. Um, it goes the same with Centurions, Berserkers, Musketeers, and other specialized units. They can buff each other, but it, the buffs won't stack if they're applying it to the same unit. Moving on to tip number five. You can specialize your units at level 20. Most of you know that newer players don't, but you can choose between three specializations on every unit that gets you to 20. For the best specializations, I would recommend checking out this video, which is over here. This video for the best specializations for your units. That's the real tip and trick though, is actually checking out that video for making sure you have the best specializations. Moving on to number six, there are many different types of terrain that affects the units. They can give defense, they can damage, uh, increase speed, less speed, less defense, a lot of other things. So be careful where you place your units, where you place them matters. You could be placing them on a terrain which could slow them or hurt them, or it could be really good to place on the terrain just make sure that you are careful where you are placing terrain wise not everybody knows the terrain affects um other units and it's actually goes to pretty much every event there's some kind of terrain so make sure to either utilize it or not or avoid it depending on the type of terrain that you're uh, using Moving on to the tip number seven. Every unit has a power cost. I do plan on making a power cost video in the future because it's extremely important and uh, not everybody understands that certain units cost more or less. And there's a lot of information to go over there. But basically every unit having that power cost where flag bearers have the cheapest power and balloons typically have the most power. Dungeons, PVE and PVP are all impacted by how much power is on the maps. So you got to really be careful when you're just throwing out random units, because if you put in high power cost units, it could actually hurt the captain. Anyways, moving on to the next one, tips and tricks number eight. There's a max amount of loyalty chests you can get from each event. The information should be here. 30 super loyalty boss chests, 65 loyalty gold chests, 110 loyalty skin chests, and 190 loyalty boss chests. If you want to maximize the loot that you get from the loyalty chest, make sure you get that gold loyalty before getting all those loyalty chests. So really, you should only stick to that if you are one of the hard or grinders, but you don't have to skip them. And I really hope they fix that in the future where you won't have to skip the first couple of loyalty chests before you get gold loyalty. Regardless, though, they do have a max you can get each event. Make sure you are trying to get that max, especially the super loyalty chest. And I would make sure you check these numbers each event because they do differ depending on the event because the devs can change them. Anyways, moving on to tip and tricks number nine there is a website i should also put that in the top corner that will show you the exact amount of golden scrolls you need to level up your units check it out right there top right if that website stops working or goes down in the future you're here's some generic level information um on the screen that should help you out basically if you ever want to figure out how much gold you need and golden scrolls you need to get from level one to 30 or level three to 22 you have that information right there and it's gonna be super useful for you guys um i 
I would recommend personally to level up by milestone, but that is up to you. Going on to the last tip of tricks, number 10, it is about the shop resetting every six hours. It is recommended not to refresh the shop at all if you don't have excess gold. If you have some spare gold, refreshing the shop is okay, um, but I wouldn't do it more than once because the price gets increased every time. It is recommended that you buy every non-rare scroll from the shop once per refresh. If you are a more advanced grinder, it's suggested you buy everything from the shop and to make sure that you keep enough money available to level up your other units. Anyways, that's it for today's video. That was, that was a fairly quick one, but those are the top 10 tips and tricks that I could personally think to help benefit you in your Stream Raiders gameplay. Of course, that's not all the tips and tricks I could be giving you. If you want any more information or have any questions, check Check out uh, me on Twitch over there. Anyways, um, I appreciate you guys and yeah, have a have a nice one. Uh, I hope you guys look forward to more of these videos. See you guys later. Bye bye.